Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to bleed the clutch system on our 2007 Suzuki GSX-R1000. Pretty simple to do, I just need to grab a couple of tools and I'll show you how to get it done. This is going to be a very easy one, so it barely rates on the scale of a level 1. As far as the tools you're going to need, really short list. Phillips screwdriver, 8mm wrench, and just a length of clear hose. Now as far as the parts that are going to be required, for us it's just going to need some DOT4 brake fluid. Now if your particular project is needing more than that, reference our drawings at partzilla.com. That way you can get everything that you need to get this little project accomplished. So, once you've got your parts and your tools together, we can go over there and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, it starts by, let's just go ahead and remove this little side piece and get that uh, reservoir cap open. If I were you, I would go ahead and lay down some type of uh, cloth, something to uh, you know, protect your plastics. But you do not want to get brake fluid on your body panels because it will eat into that paint and or any decals you have. All right, how often should you be doing this? Well, they say to, quote, replace your fluid every two years. And by the looks of it, I don't think this has ever been done because that looks like some dark water nastiness that doesn't need to be in there at all. I mean, new brake fluid has kind of a, uh, I guess a gold tint to it, and that is not a gold tint. All right, so not that tough. This is your slave cylinder for the clutch. All you need is an eight millimeter wrench and just a length of hose. This is a 3 16 and just something to catch it in. We're going to be using some DOT4 brake fluid. I want to keep the reservoir full. And what I'm doing is I pulled out this uh, upper plate in the diaphragm because we just want to put the cap back on because it'll actually spit fluid out at you. And uh, we want to have the cap in place to keep that from happening. So let's start pushing out some of this nastiness. Go ahead and pull your clutch in. Open up the valve, and then it'll start to push it out. All right. Hold it, open the valve, close. Just like that. All right, as you're doing this, you want to check it about every three or four times because it's going to be drawing fluid through the reservoir, and you do not want it to uh, run all the way out and introduce air into the system. Pull in, open the valve, close, and repeat. So we're just going to keep doing this over and over again until we get new fluid pushed all the way down to the slave cylinder. It's going to take a little while, but it'll be worth it. Well, the reason you want to do this is that um, brake fluid is inherently what they call hydroscopic. It actually attracts water. So this is an, actually an open system that lets air get to it, hence you've also got um, water in the air, so it, can get in, it will get into the fluid. So it's important that you flush that out because you don't want water in your system for a couple of reasons, especially on the brakes more than on the clutch, is uh, it has a lower boiling point compared to uh, um, the fluid. The other thing is if you've got water inside the system, it's going to break down your seals. It's going to start you know, breaking down the actual pistons and components that are both in the, uh, the master cylinder as well as the slave cylinder. So it's important that you flush out and get in new fluid that's fresh. How many times are you going to have to uh, refill the reservoir? It's a little bit of a guess on my part, but I'm figuring at least 10, or that's what I'm going to do. Plus you'll be able to tell the, uh, the fluid actually getting pumped out. It's going to be a whole lot more clear than when we started. All right, guys, that's, uh, that's about 10 times. The fluid is starting to look clear coming out down at the uh, slave cylinder. Now we want to set our level. And what we're going for is this upper mark right here. That's your upper, and this, of course, your lower. So I'm just going to fill it up to that level. That's it. Now you can take your uh, little plastic diaphragm and that nylon piece up top, get your cap back on. Now uh, you just want to make sure any that was spilled, you go ahead and get off. Get this piece back on, holds that cap in place. Now make sure that valve is shut all the way off. Take off your hose, put your dust cap back on, back on the, uh, the slave cylinder. 
Well, all right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this simple project. Well, listen, no matter what parts you need, we have it at partzilla.com. So why don't you give us a call and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for all that you do with Partzilla because it makes all of these videos possible. So see you next time.